Hey guys, it's the King Koopas here. Welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, we took down our first two portrait ghosts, Neville and Lydia. And we uncovered a new type of ghost, well, money ghost, the golden mice. And in this episode, with key in hand, we go to the nursery. This is our first area boss. Now, before we do anything, in this chest, in this dresser, there will always be a big heart that restores 50 HP. Just thought I'd mention that. Anyway. What does his heart say? Horsey, Rocky, horsey. That's a key on how to wake him up. Do that, and there we go. Kind of cute. Hey, wanna play with me? Okay, he's gonna shake his teddy bears at you. What you wanna do? Get rid of that. Take this ball, and right in the face. And that's child abuse, if you think about it. Even though it's a ghost child. Ow! You gave me an owie. I just want to play with you. I hate grown-ups. Why do you have to be bigger than me? I had enough. Small. No, go small. Small. Itty, tiny, little, wee, goo, ka, goo, goo, ka. Wow. That is frightening how I managed to do that voice. Then again, I am very good with voices, but still. By the way, cute baby turns into creepy. Show you why in a sec. And by the way, look at the background. Area bosses do that. Ugh. That is really creepy. I like how he winks. Anyway. Area bosses work differently than portrait ghosts. They will have a certain way of attacking that you must dodge. And then you must find a way to hurt them. Portrait, whereas portrait ghosts it all depends on how much sucking you do. That sounded really bad. What I meant by that, how much, how many sections it takes you to take them down. Portrait ghosts, based on how much health do you lose fighting them. And yeah, portrait ghosts are harder because they will drag you. Just hold away and until that happens. I don't even, I didn't really pay attention how much health we did, and that is creepy. Is that, I thought he was going the other way. Just follow around behind him out of his shockwave and you'll be okay. It's a giant crib we're in. That, and now run the other way. And now the balls. Pretty much he's giving you what you just used to hurt him. He's giving to you again. Anyway. Get some more health off him. What I find is useful is uh, when you have a, a boss goes to... Like, wiggle the control stick back in the opposite direction that they're going. Because, it, I think it drains more health. Ooh. Ooh, things are moving fast. Yeah, that happens after... Uh... You little this health down below 20. And no, you do not get pearls from area bosses. You, you just don't. That's how it works. Let's see ball. Come on, Chauncey. In the vacuum. And Air and Luigi does the peace sign, but we didn't get to see it because of the cradle. And it's a heart key. <laughs> Luigi, can you hear me? 
Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I lost contact with you all of a sudden. I was a tad worried. Yeah, facing area bosses does that. Seem to be a bit tuckered out after a lot of mail, don't you? Why don't you come back to the lab when you vacuum up a boss ghost, your Poltergeist 3000 gets pretty full to bursting. I thought I already was with all the money and other portrait ghosts in there. I don't know how it works. But oh, I guess you showed that boss who goes to his boss. Shut up, kid. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Take a gander at this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. Call it the por Ghost Portrificationizer. This machine lets us turn ghosts you catch into paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse, too. Why did you make it in reverse? Hmm, how do we use it? Yes, well, simple. Just plug the Poltergeist 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. I hope Luigi took the, all the money out of the Poltergeist before. Because he puts the gems in his pocket, but the rest of the money goes into the vacuum. I hope he got all that out. Press him indivisible from ow cow utter shocking. That sounded really weird. Put him into ghost portraits. Right. After you defeat an area boss, the portraits go like this. Goes the area boss, and then it starts with the first ghost in the area that you caught. Just thought I'd mention that. So turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thank you for your help, Luigi. And now, we get to see all the ghosts we caught. Alright, go gold, gold uh, frames on all of them. That's good. Three ghosts. And now we're ranked. Where will we go? Back to the mansion. Careful now. Anyway. Take the key, and it gets rid of the spiky stuff. Anyway, we are going to end it here after that boss battle. That's how it's going to work. The boss battle is going to be one episode, and then we are going to then we'll start a new area in, in the next episode, all right? That's what we're going to do. We'll start off area two in the next episode, all right, guys? I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.